Hello sixth grade. In this video we're going to continue talking about multiplying fractions. This time we're going to be multiplying mixed numbers. Uh, so to multiply mixed numbers it's sort of the same process as uh, what we did for adding and subtracting mixed numbers as the first step. Uh, meaning that first step is we want to convert those mixed numbers to improper fractions. And once your mixed numbers are improper fractions then we multiply like normal. So we multiply the numerators with the numerators and the denominators with the denominators. At the end, we simplify if necessary and we convert any improper fraction answers back to mixed numbers. A reminder again, when we're multiplying, we do not need common denominators. Okay, so in number one, we have the fraction two and one half times three and three fifths. So I'm going to first of all convert each of these fractions to um, mix, or to, excuse me, to each of these mixed numbers to improper fractions. There we go. Uh, so two and one half is two times two plus one, which is five halves. And three and three fifths, five times three is 15, plus three is 18, so this is 18 fifths. So we're going to do five times 18 over two times five. We look for opportunities to cancel up and down, and I see we have a five on the top and the bottom, so I can divide both of these fives by five and replace them with ones. I also have a two and an 18 that I can divide both by two. 18 divided by two is nine, and two divided by two is one. So we end up getting some smaller numbers here. We have one times nine on the top, and then we have one times one on the bottom. 1 times 9 is 9, and 1 times 1 is 1, so we get the improper fraction 9 over 1. 9 over 1 is simply equal to the whole number, 9. Okay, number 2, we have 4 and 5 sixths times 1 and 1 fourth. So 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 is 29, so this becomes 29 sixths as an improper fraction. 1 and 1 fourth will become 5 fourths. So 29 times 5 over 6 times 4. I look for opportunities, opportunities to cancel. In this case, I don't have any. Uh, 29 is prime, so I can't divide it uh, by anything uh, that I can on the, in the denominator. And the same thing with 5 um, on the top. I can't cancel it out with either 6 or 4. So I'm just going to be multiplying 29 times 5 to get my numerator. 29 times 5 is going to be... 145, and then in the denominator, 6 times 4 is 24. So we have the improper fraction 145 over 24 that we now need to make a mixed number by dividing. So 145 divided by 24. 24 won't go into 14, so we need to try to take it into 145. I want to use my estimating skills. If we um, estimate correctly, we'll find that 24 goes into 145 six times. And 24 times 6 is 144. So 6 whole times and a remainder is 1. So this becomes the mixed number 6 and 1 24th. Okay, number three, we have the whole number two times the mixed number two and one-fourth. Two, we can make an improper fraction by putting it over one. So we'll take two over one times two and one-fourth as an improper fraction will be nine-fourths. So two over one times nine-fourths. I can cancel my two on the top and my four on the bottom by dividing both of these by two. So this gives me 1 times 9 over 1 times 2. 1 times 9 is 9, and 1 times 2 is 2. So I get the improper fraction 9 halves. I want to make this a mixed number now, 9 divided by 2. 2 will go into 9 four whole times, and I'm left with a remainder of 1. So this becomes the fraction 4 and 1 half. 
Number four, five and one third times four fifths. Five and one third, if we make that an improper fraction, we get 16 thirds. Four fifths is already a proper fraction, so I can just leave that alone and bring that down. So I'm doing 16 times four over three times five for this problem. I can't cancel anywhere. 16 won't cancel with three or five. Four won't cancel with either of these either. So I'm just going to do 16 times four on the top. 16 times four is 64. And on the bottom, three times five we know is 15. So we get the improper fraction 64 over 15. So we take 64 divided by 15 now. 15 will go into 64 four whole times. 15 times four is 60. And we get a remainder of four. So this becomes the mixed number four and four fifteenths. Okay, going on to the back side, we have a couple of word problems we're going to look at. Number five says that um, a recipe calls for two and one third cups of almonds and one and three fourths cups of pecans. If Eliza would like to make four fruitcakes, how many cups of nuts does she need? So uh, there's going to be a couple of steps to this problem. The first step is, uh, look at the question carefully, it's asking how many cups of nuts does she need? It doesn't say how many cups of almonds or how many cups of pecans, it just says generally the nuts. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how many total cups of nuts uh, does it take to make one fruitcake. So we're going to do that by adding, we're going to add this two and one third for the cups of almonds to this one and three fourths for the cups of pecans. And this will give us uh, the amount for one fruitcake. So that's two and one third plus one and three fourths. We'll make these improper fractions. Two times three is six plus one is seven. So seven thirds plus four times one is four plus three is seven, seven fourths. Now when we're adding, remember we need common denominators. So I'm going to uh, make each of these a 12 because the LCM of three and four is 12. So that means I make 7 thirds 28 twelfths because I multiply top and bottom by four. And I make 7 fourths 21 twelfths because I multiply numerator and denominator by three. So 28 plus 21 all over 12 gives us the improper fraction 49 twelfths, okay, 49 twelfths. So this is the total number of cups of nuts needed for one fruitcake. Now, what I'm going to do with this is the second part of this problem. Now I need to figure out how many total cups does she need to make four fruitcakes. So to make four fruitcakes, I need to take that 49 twelfths and I need to multiply it by four. So it's going to be 49 over 12 times the whole number four, which we, we can write as four over one. So this is 49 times four over 12 times one. We can cancel four and 12 on the bottom. Four and 12 are both divisible by four, so this becomes one and three. So we're going to do 49 times one over three times one. And this just gives us the improper fraction 49 over three. This is our final answer, but we wanna make that a mixed number, uh, not leave it as an improper fraction. So we're going to take 49 divided by three. Three goes into four one whole time. And then three will go into 19 six whole times and we get a remainder of one at the end. So this means that this is the mixed number 16 and one third. So to answer this question, how many cups of nuts does she need? We can say Eliza needs 16 and one third cups of nuts. Okay, I said there were a couple of word problems here. We only had one on the back. So 
Uh, if you had any questions over this problem or anything on the front, make sure you have those written down so that you can ask those the next time you're in math class. Until then, folks, have a nice day. You're all wonderful people. Take care.